following a simple algorithm uh, to be able to do the reorientation of an object and then to simulate a single rigid body using all the parameters, right? Where it turns out you need to know orientation. So the spinning book problem, all we ask you to do is find omega x, omega y, omega z. We never ask you to find, like we never cared about orientation. And to a certain degree, we were sort of like, you felt good because you could talk about spin stability. There's a lot of nice feelings out of it, but it left you without ever knowing how to do orientation in 3D. So that was sort of like a major, I was like, uh, I'm biting my lip going, all right, they can always use Euler angles until you run into the singularities. All right, and so you saw what happened when we ran into the singularity, you get some crazy error in numerical integrator field. So, I'll send out what I think is like two, three problems. I'll, set, I'll post the solutions on Motion Genesis and I'll make sure you see the solutions. And I'll do that probably by Sunday. So, you know, be fresh in your mind as to what we do. I'll send out the, I'll send out the what problems you should look at now and then I'll post the solution on Sunday. I just won't have a ch chance between now and Sunday to post too much. Um, questions? So, because you've got like, that's pretty much the whole story. It's, it's like, it's such a math thing. The language and the power language that engineers tend to get exposed to is you'll hear a lot of power language where people will almost intimidate you with these new ideas like quaternions. So like, it's just, you know, trig formulas. It's, that's all it is. But you can see that you sort of need a lot of background to even appreciate, like, all the complexity of why it is so dang hard to get it all to work. And we couldn't have this conversation at the beginning of 331. I mean, it would have been impossible because most of you would have still been believing this. So, yeah. So how is this different from the sequence of three angles? Is it just, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of the same, but. It looks the same. And actually, um, so this, the, the, the sequence, actually it does have a sequence. So you have like a, a fixed BX, a fixed BY, a fixed BZ, the fixed on the body, you're doing the sequence relative to that and then you have the three angles as parameters. Mm -hmm. The problem is that when you do use them, you have this singularity that ends up in the 3D equations. Mm -hmm. These divide by zero errors at 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, so you have three parameters, they have this problem, and so now we say, can we avoid this singularity? And as far as in 2013, the best way to do it is to introduce four that are in pure math land, and then to relate the four with e0 squared plus e1 squared plus e2 squared plus e squared equals uh, okay. And so the rotation matrix, you then cast in terms of it, so you actually have a really good solid, like I know it, I know the orientation of this relative to ground, which is great. So once you have the rotation matrix, you know the orientation of this relative to ground. So you move into the math world, you do all your math in the math world, and then you come back to the physics world with the rotation matrix. So you're basically calculating the spin and going back using these formulas to get back to what the angle was and what the lambda vector was. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. And typically, once you get to the rotation the rotation matrix, most people are just happy with it because it, it tells you exactly where everything is. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Any other questions? I, I can imagine it's it's sort of a lot in one big swoop. Um, it would. To finish it off, I really do think two, three problems tops, you'll just, you know, it's not a lot of work, and you'll go, oh, I get it, it's just, you know. And you probably, should, I'll probably tell you to type it in, so rather than using like the kin diffs or some fancy thing, I'll just say, go to page so-and-so, type in the formulas, and you'll see the derivations, you know, of the formulas. You'll make a typing mistake, you know, it won't come out right, we'll fix it. Um, in terms of schedules, would anybody be available, like, next week to me if they need help. How many like next, you know, Tuesday? Okay, like right around the same time, 11 uh, okay. So we'll just come in and then we'll just work on the problems. Uh, if you haven't started, that's fine, but if you have, great. Um, good. Um, I will say the last thing I'll say to you guys is it's amazing how much I get paid to do angles. You know, like the, this, this this stuff is where you make your money. Like, it's really hard for people to get it. The Keynes stuff, the Lagrange stuff, there's a lot of people out there who can do that and or get around not doing it by using clever, like, roadmaps. Understanding this is actually, like, that's where, as an analyst, you really actually make a ton of money because it's hard to do. Um, 